Hi Leo, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has to be well. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that roles could be reversed between you and your person. And what is said, let's move forward. Let's see. Again, if, before, if you ask me why I'm wearing this, it's because my birthday is coming up and I decided to celebrate and this is my little one right here. Um, let's see what the universe has for you, Leo. We got the King of Presents in Reverse, the Two of Potions right here. We have also the Eight of Potions right here. We also have the Two of Swords. Um, sorry, got a game. We got the Nine of Swords. We got the Page of Potions, and we also have the Ace of Potions right here. And overall, we got the Page of Needles at the bottom. We got the Nine of Potions. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So okay. It seems right here, hold on guys, sorry that was my son. So either way, I sense that somebody is coming with a love offer very, very soon. I feel like you and this person um, part ways because you felt like things were not fair. You feel like, you know, even though that you love them and maybe love was not even an issue for some of you, it was just like things were not fair and you had to walk away, departure from, from somebody that you really, really loved. With the two needles right here, it was a very hard decision for you to make and often you wonder if you did the right thing, but you knew that whatever was happening, whatever the situation was, you felt that it was just not fair um, for neither of you. Um... I also see that this person um, could have been just uh, two things. I see toxicity being the issue of what things ended. This could have been because they actually are flirt with too many people or they could have a drinking issue. And that's one of the things that caused you to be like, you know what, I'm done. Even though that you loved, it was like this love and this care was quite poisonous because this love in a way you feel like it was killing you because you were accepting things that was not really fair and that honestly it wasn't making you happy you with the page of needles right here you wanted more you wanted more you wanted a peaceful relationship uh more mature more stable and you weren't getting that so you decided that no matter if I love them, he or she is not giving me what I want and I need to do what's best for me. So you took action. Um, this could have been a, a moment that you broke down and you make the action out of nowhere. But whatever this was, it was because you felt like you deserved better at the time. You felt like you were deserved, you deserved better. And, you know, also um, you were like, you know what, I'm mature. This could be because it was an age gap, maybe. You could have been older than them, not necessarily. But this could be if it's not an age gap. This could have been just the fact that you were more mature than them. And it was just like too much. Um, with the full end of the rest right here. And the judgment of reverse karma. Things were not, like I said, balanced and fair. And you felt like this person was just a fool. Like, too much of a risk. And you wanted stability and he or she wanted to continue like that. And you were like, you know what, I can't. But I see that this person is coming back. Why is this person coming back? Why is this person coming back in, in Leo's life? Okay. So, life hasn't really been easy, is, um, easy without you. Um, there are points of a moment in the relationship or connection they did not appreciate everything you did for them and at points or at times uh they they thought like you were too dramatic when you said no i do this for you i do this for that you know and at the time they didn't appreciate everything you've done for them now that has changed as they feel completely heartbroken uh i feel like they're carrying a lot of weight and they just don't know how to do it um life and birthdays holidays whatever doesn't feel the same without you because you were their home they thought like home was where they lived no the fact that you guys used to be together was what made it home this could be where you guys lived or the connection they feel completely lost by that without you they even drink but drinking is not even helping anymore um they're not very happy they try to talk to other people try something but they just didn't feel anything for them to be honest um it was just a waste of time um at times when you guys argue let's say that you guys used to argue um they didn't see that you were just trying to better him or her and better the connection because you are the kind of person who 
don't give up on things you just want to make sure that whenever you give up it's just because it's your last straw and i feel like that's what happened um with the five of potions right here they regret to disregard you so many times they regret for for taking you for granted they regret not doing exactly what they should have done when it mattered and i feel like they are so heartbroken so distraught so like i wish i could do things different but you know you can't really change the past they're planning to do something in a couple months i feel like three months from now whenever you see this 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 video three months from the from the uh day that you click on the video that's when you're gonna see some sort of change or shifting this could be synchronicities this could be uh seeing uh look alike hearing their name their favorite song a lot of things are gonna remind you of this individual because it seems to be that you're gonna get a wish granted or that's what i'm getting i'm sorry all my neighbor's dogs are just barking right now now with the hero fund right here um it's something very important that's about to happen because you guys are you you always knew that this person was sent to you by god sent to you this person was sent to you by god or the divine you knew like this connection was out of this world that this not like random you knew that this was special so keep in mind that something important is about to happen related to this connection um Well, the three of swords right here and the star in reverse um again things were not supposed to end like this and this person is seeing that you are their dream come true and they're gonna come back to fight for you they actually are taking a little bit of time because they're pra not practicing i was gonna say that but i would say it's planning that their move towards you they're planning on it they're taking a little bit longer because they just want to do it right they're actually also i see like this person is also moving they're actually uh transforming as well besides that also if this person could be just transforming their old ways they're actually just transforming transforming changing and they're doing it for you because they want to get you back they want to get you back They want to work on the relationship. They want to work on your forgiveness. As I said this, they want to work on the and your forgiveness. They want to work on it. They want you to take them back. But they really, really want to work on it. And they know that you may just not talk to them. That you may be like moved on. But I feel like they still want to risk it. Because it's like they want, they don't want to give up just yet. You know, it's like they need to do it. they actually cannot walk away from you completely until this is done it's like okay if she or he don't want me i just need to do this so i can feel at, at peace because they want to apologize they want to make amends with you they want to say something to you even if you guys can't be together because whatever reason they just want to let you something something know they want to let you know about something before walking and I see some of you are going to get a gift from this individual in the holidays. Others of you, it's just like getting exactly what you wanted. Maybe it's too late, perhaps, but at least you're going to get it because I feel like it's going to help you as well have a more peaceful closure. What are the feelings for, for Aries? I'm sorry, what are the feelings for Leo? Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. I see that they don't want to argue with you. They don't want to argue with you. Uh, they don't want. There's nothing about winning or losing because at this point they feel like not having you in their life is losing. Um, they're no longer stuck on their ways, and they want to show you that that this could work. I feel like they're gonna tell you like I'll do anything for you. I feel like their actions has changed, and whatever they're saying is quite honest they do know that they broke your heart and they know that they're the one to blame and their heart is completely broken but they said that if you were to give them a chance things are going to change i know that's quite on you're like 
un uh, unsure in what to do and i feel like you may need to be asked for time but i feel like this person definitely wants to fix things with you they do have a lot of emotions there uh, for the first time in a long time they're taking accountability and it doesn't it's not like a gaslighting you or anything this is somebody who um wants to fix things with you because everybody when i say something like this they're like oh this is just gaslighting me so hear me out if they don't apologize to you it's a bad thing but if they do it too so what do you want you know like i get people like oh my god they're doing this because it's called gaslighting like no people apologize some people do and some people get mad if they don't get an apology some people get mad if they do get an apology like pick a side boo boo gaga you can't be mad at everything so at this point it's somebody who knows that you gave more than what you received and they want to apologize because you didn't deserve that the fool right here and this is somebody who is a fool who is actually taking a risk to come back and do that and they are with an intent their intention is to have a new beginning in a sense which is starting over and they have a little bit of hope that they can with the chariot of cancer energy little by little get you back and they're willing to do whatever it takes whatever you say they'll do it that's pretty much what's going on so what is the final um, advice it seems to be that things can work out with the eight of pentacles right here the seven of swords in reverse and the page of candles in reverse but things need to be talked all the emotions need to be spoke about you can't hold back anything even if it's something that you have been keeping to yourself just to avoid issues now <coughs> is the time to talk about it i feel that is the time for you guys to speak up vent because i feel like there's a lot of misunderstandings here um the only thing that this could work is if we get this past and this pa old emotions out worked ex and you know never repeat again but it's your time to not hold back anymore neither of you and talk it out this is what we call heart to heart conversations and when i say this people think it's just about love no it's about heart to heart conversations like deep emotions coming to light king of needles right here it seems to be that this could be worked i feel like this person is more um is more positive towards this reunion reconciliation that you are and it's because it's a lot of hurt and that's why this needs to be done properly to see if your rejection comes because you're over or your re rejection comes because you're too hurt and upset and angry and worried that things could end the same way with this said whatever was holding both of you back is completely over there's no more holding back with the devil in reverse as this person is 100 percent coming from a truthful stories when it comes to how they want to handle things and what they feel but i know that you need to be convinced to it and that's why i'm telling you that you don't need to make any decisions allow them to show you but do it little by little because i understand that you know trust and all of that is gained and they are aware of that and they're willing to go through whatever you make them go through so at this point is the balls are in your court before I continue, I want to give you what are the very strong the emotions of this connection or this reading. Let's see what are the strongest emotions of this reading. So we have confident, positive, shy. These are the, emo the emotions here. Angry. <laughs> Thankful. Thank you, spirit. Special. Happy disappointed jealous calm surprised surprise surprise <laughs> and last one disappointed frustrated kind thankful again and patient so those are the strongest emotions I hear mixing between yours and theirs so this is just you know a little bonus for you now I'm going to give you their possible initials here. Keep in mind that this initials could be the first, last, middle, or even a nickname. And once again, not all the initials are going to belong to your person, okay? As a general reading, we're going to get always multiple options for you or whoever. We got C as in cat, F as in Frank, 
V is in Victor, O is in Oscar, Z is in Zebra, Y is in Yes, Q is in Queso, that. M is in Michelle, E is in Edwin, G is in George, N is in Nina, R is in Rose, X is in Xavier. So those are the possible initials of the person I'm talking about, okay? So that's that. What are the important times, okay? This could be whenever this happens or whenever you get a message or whatever, you know? Let's see what are the important times here. I'm going to get three. Thank you so much, Spirit. So we have 430, 607, 739, 225, 546, or 110. At the bottom here, we got 1115 and or 5 o'clock. This could be day or night, okay? I'm just giving you times, a.m. or p.m., is whenever it happens but keep in mind those are the possible times now before i go completely i want to give you a message from the soulmate deck okay let's see thank you so much at the bottom right here we got love is the expression of god god is flowing through you love is a sacred union a great create creative power which through the merging of two souls becomes an exploration of divine we have Every loving thought is a seed of love. Sometimes the seed sprouts instantly and other times it lies dormant for a while. The timing really doesn't matter. Love always grows in, into greater love. Life is a cycle of changing seasons. Let us welcome each new season and surrender the past with grace. Let us remember that, that's, let us remember that nothing is ever lost for all exists eternally within our heart. Surrender all that no longer serves you. Let all, let all that remains buried in your heart come to the surface and be healed. Um, let there be space for new energies to enter, a new beginning, transformation, darkness to light. That is the end of your reading, guys. Please um, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching me. And if you want to win a free reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel. As every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, I host a free reading giveaway. Right now, once my channel gains the numbers, which is not too far, I will make a video explaining what kind of readings I'm giving away and how does it work. I also have a new thing given away, which is every month starting October towards the end of the month. I'm going to choose one lucky subscriber and I'm going to actually dedicate them a reading on a video. So it's going to be called get your cards read with me something around the, the lines but if you want always to be able to get back to win things here and there make sure to hit the subscribe button most likely i'll show you my social media so if you follow me on instagram i show i followed you back i am also on tiktok i have a small group on facebook i also have a new project coming up which is a podcast um i am open for personal readings but if you do decide that make sure to go to the link which is always in the description box below on every video and where you can actually go directly to my website as i do not accept any requests through anywhere else but that link which is the website um you can also find that website on my instagram it's going to be on my bio on their book now it'll take you to the same website uh with that said i do not take requests anywhere else again again and i do not message anybody ever offering readings or so so if that were to happen it's not me again a clarification that i do not offer any readings for free outside of the giveaways so again make sure to know that um i also have a membership for $1.99 a month so if you want to get exclusive lives and or videos make sure to join the membership um before i go let me see if i'm missing something i'm gonna have a live coming up every sunday i do lives but this sunday i cancel because it's my birthday and i'm gonna be celebrating so i'm gonna move that live down the road but if you want to get small readings with me they're actually donation lives um you can actually tune in and get the readings um with that said babes Thank you so much for watching me. Do not forget to like and subscribe and you have an amazing day.